Welcome everybody. Let me mute you and we can get going. So start by bringing your awareness into your body, especially that breath. Feel the breath coming in through your nostrils. Notice how it feels coming in and out. Going out. Notice, find your mountain pose. So the feet for most of us about hip width apart that slight external rotation, you can call those feet bean shaped if you want, as you activate those arches, bring some bounciness, some resilience to your knees and hips. Good morning, Noah, is Mia there with you too? She'll join us in a minute. Okay, okay, good. All right, so again, being shaped feet, the resilience, the bounciness in your knees and hips, really nice. The rib cage anchored in, the sides of the waist lengthening, especially as you breathe in, any amount, feel that core strength, kind of lengthening your spine a little bit, that the, all those core muscles are kind of lengthening you as you breathe. Shoulders. Do some shoulder rolls, isolating the shoulders, bring more mobility to them. Notice how it feels as you continue to breathe in and out. Shake those arms out a little bit. You can do a little rebounding, a little shaking, if that feels good for you. And then take your hands behind your shoulders, maybe give yourself a little pat on the back just for being here and then stretch that neck a little bit. So however it feels best for you, take your hands to your neck and give it a stretch. Let those fingertips linger on that occipital ridge and give yourself a little massage if that feels good. Ah. And if it feels good, bring those fingers to your jaw. And just kind of loosen up that jaw, that TMJ area a little bit. Lengthening the neck. Shake it out a little bit now. Notice how you feel. Let's do some moving mountains. So we're going to be bringing our weight forward and lifting the heels and then bringing it back to the heels. So start with the weight in the heels and notice how that feels. Find your nice mountain pose. And as you're ready, with an inhale, shift the weight forward. Just gently let those heels float up off the floor as your arms come up as well. And as you exhale, let the heels float back down to the floor. And then bring your weight to the heels and maybe wiggle those toes. Notice how that feels. So let's do that again. Inhale. Stretch up. Reach up. Feel it. Let your chin dip down a little bit, lengthening the back of the neck a little bit, if that feels good in your body. And then as you come down, bring the weight to the heels. If it's fun for you, wiggle those toes. One more time. Inhale. This time, let's keep those arms up there. As you exhale, bring the heels down. Inhale again, stretching the sides of your body, reaching up through those fingertips. And this time, as you exhale, float the right arm down and let that head gently turn to look towards the right, keeping the left arm up. And then as you inhale, float the arm up again and bring the head forward. Feel the stretch, especially in the sides of your body. As you exhale, float the left arm down and gently turn your head to look towards the left. Ah, relax it down. And then as you inhale, float it back up, bring the head forward, feel the stretch. Exhale, float the right arm down again, gently turning your head to look towards the right. Really relax it as best you can. Maybe you'll notice what you're seeing. And as you inhale, float it back up, bring the head forward, feel that stretch. Left arm floats down as you exhale, gently turning that head to look towards the left. Really relax that arm as best you can. And then as you inhale, float it back up, bring the head forward. Feel the stretch. One more time on each side. Exhale, float that right arm down. Relax it completely as you can and turn your head. And as you inhale, float it back up. Bring the head forward. Those 
motions happen simultaneously, feel that stretch. Exhale, left arm floats down, gently turning that head to look towards the left. Feel it, notice how it feels and inhale, float it back up, bring the head forward, feel the stretch. Now from here, let's bend those elbows, bring them back, back, back. And when they get about here, really feel that crease between your shoulder blades. Let them come down lower to home and feel that squeeze. Any amount, activating those shoulders, bringing them towards each other a little bit. Feel that action. Keep breathing. And as you're ready, release the arms down alongside your body. Shake it out a little bit. More shoulder rolls are always good. Keep breathing. Let's widen the stance and do some forward folds. So uh, shake it out a little bit. Make sure your body's ready for this forward fold. You wanna have that long spine hinging at the hips, folding with uh, maintaining the spine length, right? Keep the knees soft and the knees aligned with those center toes as best you can as you come into a horse stance. So how does this feel for you? Let's do a little horse stance horse dance, <laughs> kind of like a horse dance. You can dance here <laughs> like a, not really like a horse, but dancing in a horse stance. <laughs> if that feels fun for you, do a little bit. Keep breathing. Horse stance, horse dance. And as you're ready, center yourself, get those inner thighs rolled open a little bit to maintain that alignment of the knees and toes. How does that feel? If it feels fun for you, you can kind of lock your arms in on your thighs and lean forward a bit, suspend your spine gently with the shoulders. Breathe, allow any amount of adjustment that might happen in your spine. As long as it feels good, just breathe and let that spine release a little bit using your shoulders as your, um, what your spine is hanging from. So your hands are locked in here, breathe. And this is an interesting pose to get. It, it sometimes takes a little adjustment. Release, come on up, shake it out. Roll those shoulders again. Now let's do some forward folds. So, Making sure the sides of your waist are long, the rib cage is anchored in, the knees can be bent. As you inhale, if it feels good, bring your arms up parallel with the floor and exhale, fold a little bit. Let's do this incrementally. And you can have your hands on your knees as you're folding as well or on your thighs. Inhale up, exhale, fold a little bit deeper. And maybe this feels good to just fold with your hands supporting yourself. Inhale up. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper each time, a little bit deeper, any amount, everybody's different. Inhale up, exhale, fold a little bit deeper yet. Inhale up and this is our final fold and you can come all the way down as you exhale, fold all the way down, releasing down. If it feels good for you, stay here. If it doesn't feel right, move out of this pose and do something else. If you like to be here and move side to side, let's do that a little bit. So get friendly with your right leg, bring your torso over to your right leg and any amount, you can just kind of give that right leg a little good energy, keep breathing, feel the stretch in the inner part of the left leg or wherever you're feeling it. You can massage your leg, your knee, your thigh, any amount. Relax here for a moment. Notice how it feels. And notice what you're feeling in the back of your leg. Can you bend your knee just a slight bit, straighten it just a slight bit, and then come back to center. Release that head down. Notice how you feel and move over to the left. Let that torso come in contact with the thigh. Notice how it feels, release. Give that leg some love now with your hands. Any amount, keep breathing. Let's come to center again. 
and do our standing forward bend. Just lift that spine up so it becomes parallel with the floor. And you can use your hands as leverage, lengthening that spine. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Feel the rib cage anchoring in, lengthening the spine here. Keep breathing, just breathe here, three breaths. Feel that length in your spine, any amount. And then exhale, release back down if it feels good for you. And let's bring your torso over to the right again. Take your hand wherever it feels good. The left hand comes to the right foot or the floor or the leg and unwind that right arm, any amount. Let your legs move, your knees are bent, come into this twist if it feels good for you. And then come back, let's go over to the center again, release and then go over to the left, taking that right hand either on your leg, your foot, the floor, and lift that left leg, come into a twist. And let those feet and knees be soft and moving in whatever way works in your body. Come back to center, release. Let's do that again, come over to the right. Have your right hand somewhere stabilizing. I mean, your left hand is stabilizing and your right hand lifts into this twist. Exhale, come back to center, release. And one more time on the left, bringing that right hand on the leg or the foot or the floor and lifting the left arm up. Keep breathing, come back to center. Now let's find our cactus arms here. As you exhale, bring your arms into cactus, maintaining the long spine, lengthening. Inhale, bringing that spine up. Good, release those arms and heel toe your feet back to mountain. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, good job with that forward fold. Roll your shoulders, keep breathing, shake it out. Let's do a tree pose. And this tree pose, I, I've been having fun with tree pose, having a tree pose be with an aerial root. So just play fun, have fun. And if you need a wall or a ledge or a chair, use it so you can remain in your tree pose for three breaths at least. So with an inhale, shift to the right. Exhale, ground, feel that softness in your hips and knees. And as you're ready, pick that left heel up off the floor and, and become aware of your toes for a moment. Before you lift the foot up off the floor, just bring some awareness to your toes. Can you feel the contact between the toes, each toe and the floor? Just notice. And then as you're ready, pick that foot up off the floor and any amount, you can turn that whole leg out a little bit if that feels good. Now here's my aerial, aerial root tree pose. This is it. Keep breathing, maintain that softness in the standing leg. And you can do whatever feels good with your hands. Maybe you're holding one, uh, something so you can stay upright. So one hand is gonna be playing a little bit. Keep breathing. You can remain in a aerial root tree pose with your hands in front of your heart, above your head, or just play. As you're ready, bring that foot back down to a mountain and notice how you feel. Keep breathing, let's do the other side. With an inhale, shift to the left. Exhale, ground, feel that resilience. And as you're ready, peel the right heel up off the floor and become aware of those toes and the contact with the floor. Just some more awareness into your foot and especially your toes. And then as you're ready, release the foot from the floor. And if it feels good, turn it out from the root of the leg. And here's our aerial root tree pose. Keep breathing. You can play with your arms. Keep breathing. And as you're ready, return to your mountain. Notice how you feel. Keep breathing, roll your shoulders, shake it out a little bit. Let's widen the stance again. And let's do our hero two practice. So let's start by moving to the left. 
Lately, I've been doing a little bit different movement coming into Hero 2 with both legs moving. So both feet turning at the same time. And at some point you're pivoting on your heel and maybe you're pivoting on the front of the uh, foot in the back. So however it feels good for you, get that turn to happen in your body and have that left foot pretty much parallel with the, well, my foot really isn't parallel with the out, outer edge of the mat. It's more pointing out a little bit and my knee is too. So hero two, moving in and out of hero two as you inhale, bend that left knee, bring the arms parallel with the floor and turn your head to look towards the left. And as you exhale, soften back to where we started. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale into hero two. Feel those actions all happen simultaneously as you exhale, soften out of the pose. This time we'll stay in the pose. Inhale into hero two. Notice how it feels as you exhale, soften a little, especially your elbows and shoulders. Inhale, feel the length and strength. Like you're pressing into your feet, you're drawing your inner thighs isometrically towards each other. You're floating the rib cage above the hips, reaching through the fingertips and the crown of the head. As you exhale, soften a little bit. So what happens with your knee as you inhale? Does it straighten up a little bit like mine? And then as you exhale, does it soften and and bend a little bit more. Just notice whatever happens is fine. Inhale, length and strength and feel the length and strength. Exhale, soften. One more breath in this pose. Inhale, feel the length and strength. This time as you exhale, keep the knee gently bent and let the arms release down. Lean over towards the left. You can keep your left hand on your left knee to just give it some extra support. Roll that right shoulder open. Keep breathing. Yeah, keep breathing and roll that shoulder, isolating the shoulder. Now think about the alignment here. So think there's a line from that right heel out the crown of your head and see if you can find that alignment, any amount. You're open up to the side your shoulders are opening and now as you're ready bring that right arm up and over the ear feel the stretch mostly in the right side of the body as you inhale as you exhale soften a little bit if you want to bring that left arm and parallel it with the right then you're making sure you're not collapsing into the left side as you inhale stretch it's mostly on the right side but it's also on the left exhale soften one more breath Inhale, feel the length and strength in your body. And as you exhale, bring those arms back down. And before we move out of this pose, let's do a little bit for our neck. So if it feels good for you, you can turn your face, relax that left shoulder a little bit. Turn your face to look up towards the ceiling. How does that feel? And then gently bring your head forward again, find that alignment and then turn to look towards the left or down towards the floor or your foot on the left. Keep breathing. If it feels good, let's do that one more time. Turning the head, looking up gently and use your eyes. So maybe you'll even look a little bit back with your eyes. And then as you turn your head, notice what you're seeing and look down towards the floor, somewhere comfortably in front of you. What are you seeing? Now bring your head forward again and lift yourself upright. Let's do the other side like that. So moving those feet, however it works for you. Again, I'm doing it simultaneously now. You can see that there's a pivot and there may be a pivot in the front of the foot and the back and the pivoting on the heel in the front. Inhale, bend that right knee. Bring your arms parallel with the floor and turn your head to look towards the right. As you exhale, soften out of the pose. Inhale into hero two. Can you feel that pressure in the right heel especially? Exhale, soften back. Making sure that your knee doesn't come over your instep. Inhale into this pose and exhale out. This time we'll stay in the pose. 
Inhale into hero two. Adjust yourself as needed to make sure you're aligned. Exhale, soften a little bit, especially the elbows and the shoulders. Inhale, feel the length and strength pressing into the feet, drawing the inner thighs isometrically towards each other, floating the rib cage above the hips, reaching through the crown of the head and the fingertips. Exhale, soften a little bit. Two more breaths like that. Inhale, feel the length and strength in this pose. Exhale, soften a little bit. One more breath. Lengthening, strengthening with that inhale. And as you exhale, relax those arms down, gently lean over towards the side. And you can have that right hand on the right knee. Open the left shoulder. Keep breathing. Ah, feels good, yeah? Keep breathing. As you're ready, you can bring that left arm up and over the ears for a stretch. This is Paschimottanasana. Wide angle bend, breathe as you inhale, feel the stretch. As you exhale, soften. If you wanna parallel your arms, you can do that. You don't have to, you can keep your hand on your knees. Inhale, stretch, exhale, soften. One more breath, stretching as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring the arms back down, roll that shoulder open again. And now we're gonna turn our head if it feels good for you. Feel that line from the left heel out the crown of your head. And then your neck can pivot on that line. Any amount, turning to look. Use your eyes to look up towards the ceiling. If your head isn't positioned in a place where it's looking up towards the ceiling, any amount, look up and then turn. Looking down gently, keep the shoulders relaxed as you can. Keep breathing. Let's do that again, turning the head to look up. Any amount, use your eyes. And look down, keep breathing. Bring your head to face in a neutral direction now and bring yourself upright. Let's heel toe those feet to a mountain and shake it out a little bit. Time for a sip of water for me. Maybe it's time for you as well. Okay, so far we've only done one balance pose. Um, let's go ahead and do our balance series. So everybody here is familiar with this. Let's do it. Bring yourself near the front of the mat. Find your mountain pose and have something you can use to stabilize if you want. You know, if you want to have something to hold on to when you come into a hero three, use it. It's good to use props. So find your mountain balance again. Notice how you feel. Rib cage anchored in, nice long spine, shoulders at home. With an inhale, stretch those arms up. There can be a slight lean back from that low joint, L5S1. And as you exhale, hinging at the hips, dive forward, long spine releases down. Oops, I'm doing sun salutation. That's okay, let's do this. Let's come into a, a forward bend as you inhale. Feel that length again. So you can slide your fingers up your legs a little bit and use them kind of as a cantilever to lengthen your spine a little bit here. Let's come back down, release down. And let's come up and, sorry about that, inhale back up and exhale into a prayer pose. So now we'll really start our, um, our uh, hero series, okay? So here we go again, sorry about that, I started wrong. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, sink into fierce pose. So you're reaching back with those hips, keep the knees aligned uh, uh, without moving them too far forward, reach back through your hips, keep breathing, shift to the right and step back with the left. Come into this hero one. So hero one, we lean forward in hero one to keep that 
low and mid back from compression. Breathe, nice long spine as you inhale. Feel that reach through the fingertips and the crown of the head. And as you exhale, let those arms relax down and let that knee in the front gently straighten. Inhale again into, oh, let's do inhale, left arm, right knee are coordinating together. This hero one that's asymmetrical. Exhale, soften, stay here for a couple breaths. As you inhale, feel the length and maybe you'll reach back with that right arm. Let's stay here and just do a little bit with the arms before we move forward. So move those arms, you're in this lunge. Feel the strength in your lower body as you gently move your arms forward and back alternately. Keep breathing. Fluid movement as best you can. You can kind of imagine that you're moving through thick atmosphere if that's fun for you. Now end up with your left arm forward and your right arm just relax a little bit back. Keep breathing. Inhale, feel the length and strength in the pose. Exhale, soften, prepare to bring that left foot and the right arm forward as you inhale. Peel that left heel off the floor and bring it forward. Any way you want to keep it forward. Stay here for three breaths, if possible. You can have your toes on the floor, lifting and lowering. Keep breathing. You can have that right arm reaching forward any amount and as you're ready bring that foot back again and return to our asymmetrical hero pose feel it as you inhale feel this pose and as you exhale soften the arms back and come into our starting place now parallel arms hero one inhale into this hero one as you exhale soften prepare to move into hero three as you inhale, peel that left heel up off the floor, releasing those toes and folding into hero three. Maybe you have a ledge to hold on to, or maybe you feel confident and you can move those arms in any way that feels fun for you. Keep breathing, about three breaths here. And as you finish those breaths, bring that foot back down, inhaling in hero one, and exhale, soften, returning to our starting place. One more time, hero one, as you inhale. Exhale, soften, prepare to step forward into fierce pose. As you inhale, take that step and exhale, sink a little in fierce pose. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale, return to your mountain in a prayer pose if that feels right for you. Keep breathing. Let's do the other side. As you inhale, stretch up, reach up, and exhale, sink into fierce pose. Any amount, reaching back through those hips, stay nice and long in the spine, keep breathing. Shift to the left, step back with the right. Find this hero one pose. As you inhale, feel the length and strength. And with an exhale, soften those arms down and let the knee gently straighten. Now coordinating left knee, right arm, inhale. Asymmetrical, hero one. You're leaning forward still. Keep that compression away from your back. Exhale, soften, prepare to bring the right foot and the left arm forward. Any amount as you inhale, peel that right heel off the floor. You can drag the toes forward or lift them in any way that feels good for you. You can lift and lower, keep breathing, about three breaths here. And as you finish those breaths, return to this asymmetrical hero pose with the right arm coordinating with the left leg. And as you're ready, exhale to our starting place. Now parallel arms, hero one, inhale into this pose, exhale, soften, prepare to move into hero three. As you inhale, peel that right foot off the floor, fold into your hero three, keep breathing. And maybe you're lucky like me, you've got something to hold on to and you can hold on to that with one hand. Keep breathing as you're ready, 
bring that right foot back down. Inhale in the pose and exhale, soften back to our starting place. One more time here, one, inhale. Exhale, soften, prepare to step forward as you inhale. Take that step, exhale, sink into fierce pose. Inhale, lifting up, lengthening up, and exhale. You can bring your hands into prayer pose or let them come alongside your body. How do you feel? Maybe you're like me and you need to wipe a little sweat off your face and get a little more water. Okay, now we'll do some form of sun salutation. We started it accidentally, but let's do it again. Or let's complete it now. So bring yourself to the front of the mat in your mountain pose. Notice how you feel. Feel that long spine lengthening as you inhale up, lean back a tiny bit if that feels good, and exhale, hinge into that standing forward bend again. Keep breathing. Let's go ahead and stretch the spine one more time, bringing it parallel with the floor. Feel that stretch, long spine stretching, rib cage anchored in. Let's shift to the left to start with today and bring the right foot back. Bring that right knee down if you want to, or you can just stay here in this lunge without bringing the knee down. Keep breathing. As you're ready, bring the left foot back and lift those hips into down face dog. Release the neck and in between the shoulder blades. Keep breathing. You can have the heels up off the floor and the knees bent. That's fine. That's good. With that external rotation happening as well. Keep breathing. Nice long spine as you inhale. Feel the length and strength. As you're ready with an exhale, come into a plank. Notice how you feel. Adjust that plank so it is a plank. Breathe. Now, if it works for you, bring those knees down and lower your chin and chest to the floor. Then the hips lower down. Now, as you look at the floor, bring, it, bring yourself into a baby cobra. So think about lifting from the lower edge of the rib cage as you inhale. Just a little bit, lifting that spine and it, it bends at that low joint. We don't wanna do too much swaying. Now, as you're ready, tuck the toes and you can come through a tabletop or just lift into down face dog from uh, your plank. Keep breathing. Now, since we brought the left foot back to start Let's uh, have the same positioning uh, for this lunge. So bring your right foot forward as you're ready. You can bring it up into a three-legged dog stretch and then bring it forward. So this is the foot that went back. So it's the foot that's coming forward again. Keep breathing, feel the lunge. And as you're ready, just gently rock back a little if that feels good for you, stretching that front knee a little bit. And as you're ready, step forward, standing forward, bend again, release the head down. And let's come up with cactus arms. So exhale, bring your arms into cactus and inhale, lengthening that spine up. Good, second side. Inhale, lengthen up, lean back tiny bit if that feels good and hinging at the hips, dive forward, standing forward bend. Let's see, we shifted to the right. We're gonna to shift to the left. Wait, we're gonna to shift to the right and step back with the left. The other one, <laughs> keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Feel this lunge. I hope it feels good for you. Keep breathing. As you're ready, come into down face dog. And you may have already bring your, brought your knee down, but you don't have to bring your knee down. Come into down face dog. Nice long spine as you inhale. Exhale, plank. Keep breathing. Feel that strength in your core in this pose. And if you can, bring those knees gently down. You're using your hands, so there's not a lot of pressure on your knees. And lower chin and chest down. Now the hips come down. Looking at the floor, that's to keep your neck long. 
Baby cobra lifting from the lower edge of the rib cage and tuck the toes, down face dog again. Keep breathing, walk into wherever your down face dog feels best. Release that neck. Now we brought the uh, right foot forward on the last side. Let's shift to the right and bring that left leg up, stretch as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring that left foot forward. How does it feel? Here we are in a lunge again. Keep breathing. As you inhale, gently rock back, stretching that left knee a little bit. And as you exhale, come forward, standing forward, bend, release the neck down. Keep breathing. With an exhale, bring your arms into cactus. Draw the shoulders down and inhale, lengthening the spine up. Good, keep breathing. Shake it out a little bit. All right, let's come on to the floor now. So let's come on to our backs and do some of our regular apanasana half bridges. So come on down onto your back. Ah, oh, relax. So we did a lot. We worked, we had several balance poses. Good job, everybody. I love those balance poses. I hope you do too. So now just find yourself on the floor. Lengthen that spine. Get the shoulders home. And go ahead and bring your hands to your neck again and give it a stretch. Give it some love. Keep breathing. Now here, let's do a little windshield wiper. So snuggle those shoulders home, anchor the rib cage in, bring your arms comfortably out. I like to have my palms facing the ceiling. Walk your feet apart as far as the mat is wide and windshield wipe a little bit. So the knees are gonna move one way and the head moves the other way. How do your shoulders feel on the floor? Notice, hopefully you can let them relax and they stay on the floor. It may be that one shoulder lifts as you bring your knees over but more and more now, my shoulders are both staying on the floor. How do yours feel in this gentle twist? Are they able to relax on the floor even as your knees are going from one side to the other? Allow any amount of that relaxation to seep into your body. and stretch in this windshield wiper. Relaxing those shoulders on the floor. Let them spread evenly out on both sides, even as you're moving your knees from side to side. Good. Now we did a quite a bit of twisting for our Next, let's do a twist for the rest of our body here. So this twist, we're winding up the legs and, uh, and I know you, most of you have done this with me before, so let's do it. So find that stacked spine, core is nice and long and working. Take your right foot and let it be near the midline. Bring the left leg up and cross over the right at the thighs. Settle there for a moment. Notice how that feels. Maybe you'll want to adjust that right foot a little bit for comfort. And as with anything, if this doesn't feel good in your body, do something else that does, okay? So this is very strong on the lower back. If you have any uh, really issues in the lower back, ask your body if this is okay. Make sure it's okay with your body. 
Now, as you're ready, if you wanna do this with me, press into that right foot, lift the hips up slightly off the floor, shift them over towards the left a little bit, then set the right hip down. Now you've stacked your hips and you're gonna gently bring that left knee over towards the floor on the right. Can you keep your shoulders relaxing on the floor? As best you can, let the shoulders continue to relax opening that left shoulder a little bit as you bring your left knee to the right uh, near the floor, any amount. Just stay here and breathe three breaths. If it feels good, you can turn your head gently to look towards the left. Relax and breathe here. How does this feel? As you finish those breaths, come out of the pose by unwinding the legs bring them back to center and reset the hips with a half bridge. Now we'll do the other side. So the left foot walks right near the center line, right leg lifts and wraps around the left at the thighs. Notice how this feels. Ask your body, is this gonna work for me? If so, let's do it. So pressing into that left foot, lift the hips up slightly, shift them over towards the right a little bit and then set that left hip down. You've stacked the right on top. And now your right knee is gently moving towards the floor on the left. Let the feet just relax as best you can. Stay here for three breaths. See if you can keep the shoulders relaxed. How does this feel? I hope it feels good. As you're ready to come out of the pose, unwind the legs, bring them back to center and reset those hips with a half bridge again. Notice how you feel. Let's stretch those legs out and bring the arms up overhead for a pencil stretch. As you inhale, point the toes, point the fingers with an inhale stretch. Exhale, soften and let the limbs flop. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, stretch from the core, out the fingertips, out the toes. Exhale, soften and flop. One more breath. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, soften and flop. Bring your arms alongside your body. Bend your knees again. Bring the feet comfortably close to the hips, about hip width apart. Let's do a few half bridges. I'd like to do the half bridge where we're uh, doing the arms asymmetrical. So one's going to reach up towards the ceiling, one up overhead. Here we go. We're going to start with one with both arms. As you inhale, press into those feet, float those arms up overhead. Feel this pose. Can you feel those gluteals working? As you exhale, float everything back down to the floor. Now we'll start three times with the asymmetrical move. Inhale, float the arms up, float the hips up, stop the left arm reaching up towards the ceiling and the right arm goes all the way up overhead. Does your left shoulder wanna come up off the floor as you reach up towards the ceiling? As you exhale, float everything back down to the floor. It doesn't have to, it just, it might, it might not. Inhale, floating up. Stopping the right arm reaching up towards the ceiling, the left arm all the way up overhead, feel this asymmetrical pose. And as you exhale, float that left arm, pick up the right and everything comes back down to the floor. Two more times on each side, inhale, floating up, stop the left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. How does this feel? In your body, feel those gluteal squeeze, and exhale, float everything back down to the floor. Floating up with an inhale, stop the right arm reaching up towards the ceiling, left arm all the way up overhead. Feel this pose, is it different on this side than the other? Mine is. Exhale, floating everything back down to the floor. One more time on each side, floating up, Stop that left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. Right arm all the way up overhead. Feel that squeeze in the glutes. Feel whatever you feel in your shoulders. And as you exhale, float everything back down to the floor. 
Inhaling, floating up, stop the right arm, reaching up towards the ceiling, left arm all the way up overhead. Feel this asymmetry and it's symmetrical too. As you exhale, float everything back down to the floor and notice how you feel. Let's bring those palms to face the ceiling. Bring the soles of the feet together and any amount gently rock from side to side, giving those glutes a little massage. Keep breathing. Now, if you're into inversions, please uh, add your inversions here if you want. If you want to use your headstand stool, Mia and Noah, you can do that here. And if you wanna just join me in a Viparita Karani, legs up a virtual wall, we can do that together. Please get, if you want to lift your hips a little bit, get a blanket or uh, some, you can also use a block. Some people like to use a block. I like the cushiness of a folded blanket. So this is what I'm gonna put under my hips. So once again, come into your half bridge and slide that surface under your hips, sacrum and tailbone and get comfortable. Ask, once again, ask your body, is this okay for me? Make sure your spine is lengthening, no crunching, the shoulders are at home. And as you're ready, you can bring those feet one at a time or both together to face the ceiling with the soles of the feet. Ah. Oh invert it feels so good to me i hope it feels good to you too keep breathing let's point and flex those feet and notice how it feels different as you flex your ankles and your toes move towards your face you can feel that stretch in the backs of your legs and then as you point those toes feel the stretch in the fronts Feels kind of fun, huh? What happens if you rotate a little bit out and do the same thing? Does it change the muscles that are working a little bit? Just notice with the toes and the knees pointing out a little bit. So usually we have everything pointing, uh, you know, pretty much towards the ceiling and towards our face. If you move out a little bit with that external rotation, how does it feel? Keep breathing. Notice how it feels. Relax a moment, rest a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, relax completely. Well, not completely because otherwise you'd collapse. So just keep those feet up there and relax everything you can. Now, any amount, stretch those heels up towards the ceiling again with an inhale and exhale, soften and relax. Inhale, stretch the heels up, soften and relax as you exhale. One more breath like that. Inhale, stretch those heels up, reach through the heels to the ceiling and exhale, soften. Let's do a little bit of a bicycle. So make it a tiny mini bike. So your feet are just going in a tiny little circle. Your knees are just making tiny circles. How does that feel? Go the other direction in the tiny circles. Keep breathing. Just tiny circles. How does that feel? Now go the first direction, a little bit bigger. Keep breathing. Can you think about maintaining that external rotation as you circulate your knees and feet? Play with this a little bit. Find some angles that feel good for you. Now reverse the direction with that slightly bigger circle. How does it feel in your hips, your knees, your feet? Keep breathing and just notice. And if it feels good for you, even a bigger circle. Good. 
Go slow and notice how it feels. Now reverse that biggest circle. How does it feel? Good. Coming back to just relaxing with your feet up above your heart. Notice how you feel after do that, doing that action. Keep breathing. Now it might feel good for you to bring the soles of your feet together, bending your knees. You can take your hands and receive those heels with your hands. If it feels good, let the elbows press a little bit out on the thighs and let the feet, the soles of the feet come together with support from your hands. Breathe, relax. How does this feel? Keep breathing. This is called Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. And in this case, it's Supta Baddha Konasana or supported Baddha Konasana. You're being supported by the floor. Notice how this feels. Release those heels. Take your hands and your feet and just wiggle them out, shake them out. Keep breathing. Now it's time, just about time to get ready for our meditation pose. So do any movements that feel good for you here, feel fun for you for another minute or so. And now it's time for you to decide where you wanna be for your meditation pose. So let's go ahead and gently bring those feet flat to the floor again. We won't stay here for meditation. You can bring that surface away from your hips and lower the hips down. And then either bring yourself to your chair or a wall for more inversion for the last five minutes, or you can lay flat on the floor. You can even sit, do whatever feels best for you, whatever your body is drawn to do now for your meditation pose. We'll take about five minutes for relaxing completely as you can. So find your meditation pose and allow your body to relax completely. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. So anybody who's watching this recording, please relax as completely as you can for five minutes. And after that, you can do your alms and we'll be doing our alms together after five minutes. Right now, I'm stopping.